All right, guys, I didn't get to record the first part of the haircut. All I did was I cut the top down to a number five. I did a four right around the Prado Ridge, a three open, and then a three. That's what I had gotten to. And you could see my hairline is not what it used to be, even five years ago uh, when I was 26, 27 years ago. After 26, I feel like my hairline just went... <laughs> You know what I mean? So, but you know what? You guys let me know in the comments after you watch this video. Would you rather keep it natural and have light ass corners and a light ass hairline look like you're balding? Or would you rather have a bigger forehead like this and have a full hairline? I'm going with the full hairline. Let me know in the comments what y'all think. And with that being said, let's get started with this tutorial. <laughs> Crazy. And my hairline looked like my hair looked like and it's been a while. So I just cut down the top to like a number five. I see your boys receding. So when I tell you I'm receding, I ain't lying. I just did a number three. Now I'm gonna do a number two. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fade one side and then fade the other. I don't think I've ever cut my hair that way. So underneath that number two, we're gonna go one and a half guard. Thank you, bro. Try to go as far back as you can. This mirror. And we we'll close it up. Go on right underneath where we just left off. Far back as I can make it, as I can reach. Brush it. Next up, that one guard. Gonna go one guard open, one guard close. As far as you can reach. Close it up. Probably close. Going right underneath where we left off. Far back as we can reach. Mm. You feel like you created a line on accident? And if you feel like you created a line, just go right above that. A little bit higher. Just to kind of take that line out by opening the lever some. Step is the half guard. Now it's all the way closed. Before I go all the way closed, let me brush off all this debris. Definitely a little bit of a line there, but that's all right. We'll, get, we'll go ahead and detail that in a bit. What I'm gonna do is before I move on to balding it out, let me go ahead and detail this like one open area, one half guard area. You guys can see that line right there. We gotta clean that up real quick before we move on. Uh, one guard open. See if it cuts. If it don't cut, then we'll just start from there and fade down. And I can hear it cutting. Looks like that looks much better. Always gotta brush. Always gotta brush. Laid open. We got these indents back here, so I want to make sure I get it nice and cut even in there. That way it doesn't look dark in that area. And every now and then you'll see me kind of zoom in 
so I can kind of really see what's going on. Um, I'm gonna focus right here real quick. Sorry if you can't see what I'm doing. I don't like vertical bars, so I'm gonna fade that, fade that out. Only time I like vertical bars is when Shannon gives me that low drop fade. He's the only one capable of that. So that's looking pretty good. And that's at the blade open. So now I can close it about halfway. Close it about halfway. I can start fading underneath where I just left off. So I can't reach more back here. So now we're gonna go about one notch open so this is one notch open okay That clipper was all the way closed. So what's gonna end up happening is I'm gonna use my trimmer. It's probably gonna create a subtle line in there. And then we're gonna have to go back with the clipper closed and detail any imperfections. You guys can see the fade coming along. I don't know what the hell wrong with my head shape. Look at my head. I move on, I'm gonna put my half coat on here. I'm gonna detail in that area, try to lighten it up some. Open it back up and go up a little bit higher. Next one is the one and a half guard. And okay, one and a half guard closed. I'm just jumping back to this number two because I see a little dark area I just want to take out. Right there. That looks much better. So now that we're done with this one and a half guard, we can go to our number one guard. Same thing, right where we left off. All the way back. Brush it out. Next we'll use the half guard. So hold on, let's let's go ahead and brush this off first. Oh yeah, now I can see that I created a line. If I didn't brush this off, I wouldn't have seen that line. Because I am sweating a little bit. I'm sweating, so I know I'm creating a line. I just can't see it as I'm cutting. This side is coming out. Probably because I can't see it as good, but 
the fact that we can see the imperfections, that's a good thing because we can always go back in detail. Okay. Well, that's pretty good for now. All right, the next part, blade open. You don't clean your blade, you'll just put more debris on your scalp. About a quarter of the way open. Alright, now we're all the way closed. Now the trimmers. Alright, so we're gonna switch clippers here. Use that for detail. Let's see if I caught where I messed myself up with the trimming on the video. save this hair. But first we gotta fade this beard in.
Uh, Scrap, did it pass it? Did it pass? Yes, sir, Larry. All right, cool, cool. Still got it, still got it. Thanks, brother. All right, guys, I wanted to show you guys in different lighting. We're in my bathroom, so I, I want to show you guys the fade in different lighting. The cowlick in the back of my head, I got I had bare head. I hadn't taken a shower yet, so, you know, it's sticking out. But all in all, I think it's a decent cut. Listen, if you want to see the full length, the, the extended version of this, it's going to be uploaded on Toon45Academy.com. So if you're a member, go look out for it.